Welcome to Miss Mojo! And today, we're counting down our picks for the times SNL's current longest-running player, Kenan Thompson, made his scene mates laugh. <laughs> Number 10. Funeral Service At a man called David's funeral, his wife and other attendees are surprised to discover his secret hobby, writing sizzling club beats with some unconventional themes. Oh, David wrote songs? Uh, not that I know of, but he did mention his friends Dan and Dee Dee a lot. I guess this is them. Anyway, Dave's old pals, Dan and Dee Dee, decide to pay tribute to their late friend by performing some of these bangers. The premise is silly enough to make even the sternest faces crack a smile. Yet Thompson and the host Scarlett Johansson hold it together surprisingly well. Here is my butt as I lean against the wall. I shake it up and down. I press it all around, baby. Here is my butt as I lean against the wall. I drop it to the ground. However, during one number about some late-night bathroom activity, we can see ScarJo trying not to break. It's hard to say if it's the absurdity, Keenan's delivery, or just everything combined, but that smile peeks through. Bathroom boss is happening tonight. <laughs> sweet, sweet David. Number 9. Weekend Update – The Village People on Donald Trump Using Their Music the Village People were among the artists who issued cease and desist orders to Trump during his 2020 presidential campaign. Naturally, SNL put their twist on the headline, casting Thompson as Victor Willis, the group's frontman, and switching up the lyrics of their classic hit YMCA. He's gonna send you a cease and desist. Get ready for a cease and desist. The dark lyrics against the cheery tune and Thompson's commitment to the bit proved too much for Colin Jost, who struggles to maintain composure as he tries to intervene. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Hold on. You can't, just, you can't just say that. What? I mean, why? It's just music, man. Michael Che can also be seen openly laughing behind the group while they're singing. Their reaction suggests that, like the audience, this might be the first time the Weekend Update hosts are hearing this song, too. Number 8. Diner Lobster Throughout history, numerous revolutions have unfolded, but none quite as hilariously memorable as this John Mulaney sketch. As you wish. All right, everyone, the time has come. We've got an order here for one lobster. <laughs> Pete Davidson's daring order of lobster at a diner sets the stage for a Les Mis parody, with Keenan as a lobster Jean Valjean. It's a premise that feels like a fever dream, and even Davidson can't help but crack up at the ridiculousness of it all. And why would someone on a whim choose from all to order him? Who's this guy? <laughs> I thought that there was an unspoken rule that lobster in a diner's Cool. Thompson's earnest portrayal and Mulaney's biting lyrics prove too much for him. As the camera cuts to him mid-song, he's openly laughing. We wonder how he'd fare if they'd followed up with how to succeed in the diner business without really trying. All right, all right, all right, forget the lobster. I'll have the veal instead. <laughs> Number 7. So you're willing to date a magician. According to SNL writer Jack Handy, Thompson's facial expressions are like their secret weapon for getting big laughs. I am a king, and I am hoping that you will be... Tracy, check your pocket. Oh my god, it's a queen of hearts! You're gonna wanna keep that! Yeah, I need that back. <laughs> he shared that sometimes, they just write Keenan reacts in a script, knowing it'll always bring the house down. It turns out they're pretty good at bringing his scene mates down, too. In this skit, host Aquafina plays a woman on a dating show who is choosing between four magicians. You were asked to go on a date with each, with each of our bachelor magicians. Let's start with Marconi as well. What did you do with him? Uh, he said he'd already... <laughs> Thompson plays Marconi as Wilde, a magician with nails as exaggerated as his facial expressions. Indeed, 
He doesn't even need to utter a word before Leslie Jones has to hide her laughter behind her cards. And soon enough, Aquafina goes down with her. It's an intriguing title called Houdini's Mistress. <gasps> Check your pocket, Michelle. Oh, and he signed it! That's so... Yeah, I need that back. Really? <laughs> Number 6. Weekend Update – David Ortiz's Post-Retirement Plans One of Thompson's standout Weekend Update characters is former baseball star David Ortiz, aka Big Poppy. When Ortiz swings by the update desk to chat about post-retirement plans, he hilariously steers a conversation toward one thing. Wait, I'm sorry, all, all of that is lunch? Yeah, that's right. Big Dominican lunch with Big Poppy. Colin can't keep a straight face, as Ortiz's antics repeatedly derail the discussion. Keenan's Ortiz then switches gears to showcase some of his promotional work, including a business review platform called Well. Well, I can't help you. <laughs> I live in Boston, man. How I know what's happening in Cleveland? <laughs> Thompson's comedic timing is so on point that not only does he break Colin, but he cracks himself up too. We join Big Poppy for a big lunch any day. Clearly, it would be a barrel of laughs. It's a no good place, but go. <laughs> Sorry, you're like a real entrepreneur now, huh? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Number 5. Weekend Update – LeVar Ball on his son, LaMelo Ball Thompson always brings it with his excitable, exuberant, and larger-than-life take on this big baller. Still, there's one Weekend Update visit that arguably stands above the rest. The Charlotte Hornets! <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina! The regional banking capital of the world! <laughs> to Gastonia. Thompson's ball stops by to chat about COVID-19's vaccinations and his son LaMelo's impressive debut season. Thompson's over-enthusiasm has us laughing from beginning to end, but we're not the only ones. Che and even Keenan can barely contain their laughter either. You can jump 30 feet in the air while your feet are covered in sweet coco deca doca <laughs> <laughs> But that's not all. What's the matter, Michael? Thompson sells this chaotic character so well that we're amazed that Che managed to get through it all. We're not sure we could. You know a performance is a slam dunk when even the cast can't stop laughing. So, pick yourself up a pair. $2,000. Seven month wait list. <laughs> Available exclusively on my cell phone between the hours of 3 and 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Number 4. Deer. In this hilarious skit, Keenan takes on the role of a dad, becoming increasingly annoyed by missing out on wildlife sightings outside the window. It sounds like one of those wacky ideas cooked up during late night brainstorming sessions, but the entire cast dives headfirst into the absurdity. Do you see the third cloud on the side of the sky? The side of the sky? It's right there at 12 o'clock. What's that, East Coast time or West Coast time? There's no difference! I'll just shut up! The comedic climax hits when the deer, now a puppet, unexpectedly barges in and startles Thompson's grumpy character. It's a riotous scene that even has Megan the Stallion struggling to contain her laughter. <laughs> That's right. Thompson's impeccable timing and expressive reactions keep her giggling. Maybe she's still playing back his wild encounter with the deer in her mind. And really, who could blame her? No. <laughs> no, Daddy. <laughs> we love it out here. <laughs> I know you worry about me, but I promise we're gonna be okay. Number 3. Weekend Update – Michael Che's Neighbor Willie on the COVID-19 Vaccine if you're looking to inject some optimism into your life, look no further than Michael Che's neighbor, Willie. If you want to hit the lotto, you got to crack some eggs. <laughs> what? And finally, I just got lucky, and the CEO of Pfizer personally knocked on my window to give me the vaccine. He may just be the jolliest and happiest ignorant character to ever grace the update desk, so it's hardly surprising that Che can't keep a straight face in his presence. During a bit about COVID-19 vaccinations, Willie's unwavering dedication to the cause and lack of concern for side effects make for one of his funniest moments yet. Willie, aren't you worried about the side effects? Oh, Michael, we all have birth defects. I said side effects. <laughs> but that's not the vaccine's fault. At most, it makes you a little sleepy. 
But you wake up in a tub of ice, good as new. Also, his personal anecdotes are a riot. Handy shared that Keenan has a talent for inserting comical nuances that make sketches that much funnier. Based on Che's reaction, this is a stellar example of that. Could barely breathe, but did I let that stop me from beatboxing at the nursing home? I, <laughs> I really hope it did. No, sir. <laughs> Number two, scared straight, underage drinking with Tracy Morgan. In this comedic sketch, Keenan Thompson and Tracy Morgan unleashed their most outlandish comedic chops as hardened criminals in the Scared Straight program. They deliver cautionary tales with outrageous exaggeration, although pretty much all their stories sound oddly familiar. Oh, I drank all right. And then right before my wedding, my best friend took me on a tour through wine country. Yeah, I kept tasting different wines. And then pretty soon, I was cheating on my fiance. Still, the whole spectacle is just so bizarre, and the acting is so hilariously over the top that we're surprised no one broke sooner. Okay, that's definitely E.T. <laughs> of course, Bill Hader is the first to go, but in his defense, if those two got up in your face like that, could you stay poker-faced? It's not just Hater they managed to crack. By the end of the sketch, they've clearly left the entire cast chuckling. Boys learn your lesson? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Black Panther New Scene Nowhere does Thompson arguably give a more hysterically zany performance than in this skit. It features Chris Red as T'Challa, who has just arrived in the mystical realm of Dejalia, where his ancestors reside. We take the form of a spirit animal. I am a panther. And I am a panther. Yeah, for some reason, I'm a warthog. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because I'm round and I'm friendly, and every now and then I eat a little trash. <laughs> During this reunion, T'Challa meets his uncle, Mbutu, whom he believed was still alive. Every time he speaks, you're left wondering what outrageous joke he'll crack next. His lines are pure gold, making it a real challenge for his fellow actors to keep a straight face. If Thompson couldn't even keep his composure, then what chance did anyone else have? You know what happens when you go away? We just sit here. Yeah, they all turn into panthers. I turn into a warthog again. And then they all start hunting me, man, because all they see is bacon. We're just surprised everyone made it to the end without the sketch derailing entirely. Which Keenan sketch made you break? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> That's not all. What's the matter, Michael? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.